Hi, welcome to Guitar Slinger TV. I'm John Bavona. And I'm Paul Varia. John, there's this one thing I do that freaks my students out whenever they hear it for the first time. I um, can only imagine. Stop. Pinch harmonics. Oh, yes. <laughs> when a teenage student is in here and they hear me do a pinch harmonic for the first time, it's like the world stops. Their entire like guitar lesson program stops yes. and ceases to be of importance. And the only thing that matters is, oh my gosh, how can you show me how to do this? Uh, it does sound cool. True words never spoken. But it's deceptively hard to actually teach. It is. Some things, gosh, you do kind of have to feel them for yourself the first time. And, right. and getting a really good pinch harmonic right. or squeal or ping or artificial harmonic. Oof. Happens to be one of those things. Yeah, it, this is a toughie, but we're going to do our best today. Tag team guitar lesson. I'm in for it. Well, I guess perhaps maybe I should start showing you how to do it. <laughs> Would you be so kind? No. First, I want to show you what it even sounds like. <laughs> You know, fun for the whole family to enjoy. <laughs> the first guy I ever heard doing this stuff. So, I mean, a lot of times people think of this as a metal technique or a hard rock technique or like an, like an 80s hair band technique. But the first dude I heard do it was, was Billy Gibbons from ZZ Top, who's a fantastically yeah. handsome man and a great guitarist, one of my favorites. And I think, as, as, as I understand, he would sometimes use like a, a peso. Really? Yeah, because, um, you know, he just found that was the right texture and, and tone and, and density. And he'd really grind that into his strings wow. and really get those really awesome sounding harmonics. I think it might be Lagrange has some awesome harmonics on yeah. it. Yeah. Billy Gibbons, check him out. He's, he's so cool. So let's get down to actually what it is. A yeah. lot of people think there's something with the left hand that they have to do a certain way that they shake it or bend it or any of that wrong. And it's all right. right hand. Yes, it's all in the right hand. Yeah. Okay, and basically what you have to do, just like when um, you learned how to hold a bat. Yeah, right. I use the same analogy, there like playing go. baseball or softball. Yes, yeah. and you have to choke up on yeah. the bat, exactly the same concept. So if this is the way you usually hold a pick, just like that, you want to skew this back just a little bit like this so it's basically even with your thumb mm -hmm. just like that because what's going to happen just a little bit yes when we attack the string yep we're going to have the pick hit the string first first and then have the skin on your thumb rub against the note a millisecond after you yeah you pick follow it. through on your attack Yes. And just like you said, just like, like as quickly as possible, the side of your thumb, a little bit of piece of flesh is going to touch the string. And that creates yeah. the harmonic. If you do it in slow motion, I don't know if you're up to the task, but if you do this in super slow motion, you actually hear that it's like two sounds. Oh, sure. It's the note being picked by the guitar effect, mm -hmm. and then it's the string being touched by the side of your thumb. Can you break it down slow? Hmm. Try it. Slower. Oh, I'll show you what I mean. Check this out. Oh, I thought you were doing I'm really... Right. Yeah, really kind of moving my arm over and being very dramatic. I'm, I'm really overdoing it uh, so you can actually see the motion and hear the two different things. But it's, it, it's two sounds, but it's one right after the other. Yes. So it comes off as just one awesome shrill harmonic fest of heavy metal goodness. And I remember when my teacher uh, taught me how to do it, I literally sat there for hours going, don, yeah. don, don, what? Yeah. don, yeah. don. My teacher wouldn't even teach me how to do it. I had to figure it out on my own, which was terrible. It took me forever. And one day I accidentally did it. I didn't even mean to do it. Were you able to? Replicate it then? Well, I stopped my world immediately and did nothing else until I could duplicate the sound. And it probably took me a couple of hours that day before I could at least get it maybe one out of every 10 times. Sure. Hey folks, seriously, like this is a tricky thing. Once you get it, 
you're gonna be like, oh, I got this. But getting to that point, climbing that mountain is, it is tough. It's quite a climb. It really is. So, um, you know, just breaking it down slowly for you again. So, picking, um, re using the, the tip of the pick is a really great piece of advice. Yeah. Um, I use jazz picks. So, I use actually very small picks mm -hmm. that are pointy and very thick. And for me, uh, the thickness of the pick is great because I want the string to move, not my pick. Right. I uh, have large hands, so the jazz pick just fits perfectly under my thumb, and only the very tip is going to stick out. So I get complete control over my pick. And for lots of techniques, but this one particularly, I really control it. Right. And the pointy pick actually is kind of nice for the squeals. It makes them really kind of ping out. Sure. Um, so I think, like, you know, if you have... One of those big cough drop two millimeter picks or five millimeter picks, maybe it's not the best pick for this job. <laughs> See what works for you. Or um, everyone's a little different. Or I'm a sorry. really thin pick, probably not good for this. I would agree with yeah, that. Like a Definitely. really thin pick, mm, definitely. Not good for and this. to tell you the truth, the technique is the same, um, but having a lot of distortion, a lot of gain on your yeah. amplifier. Um, it does bring out the harmonic yeah. a lot more. It's it not, it's not covering anything. Yep. You know, when people are like, oh, don't put a lot of gain on your distortion because it hides things. This, it's not the same thing. Yeah, this well, enhances When it. you overdrive a guitar amplifier, one of the, the things that you're doing is you're compressing the sound. Mm -hmm. And when you compress sound, basically what you're doing is you're making your, your quiet sounds louder and your loud sounds quieter. And instead of the way most acoustic instruments sound, where like, the waves go up and down and the volume gets loud and soft quite a bit over the course of a performance, you're instead squashing it mm -hmm. to this one brick line of sound mm -hmm. and the harmonics are naturally going to be a little softer. Right. So a lot to gain, it really helps them jump out, it really helps them sing. Listen to, you know, listen to like the metal guys that use this. I mean, Zach Wilde, sure. he's not really, he doesn't really go light on the gain. Right, uh, right, You know, right. Kill Switch Engage, every death metal band in the world, um, you know, lots, lots of metal guys, lots of hard rock guys, Eddie Van Halen. Mm -hmm. Sure. You know, I mean, does this stuff all the time. He's great, and you know, we're all sort of children of Van Halen. In sure. the rock world and find a age. nice sweet spot on your oh. string. All right, not. All... I was waiting for you to talk about that. Yeah, actually. depending on where you do this, you'll get different harmonics. You will get a different sound. Yeah. For each little centimeter apart. So really, yeah. play around with that. You'll hear lots of different ones. If you just rub your pick, kind of like mm -hmm. up and down. You hear like... It's all about the length of the string. You know what a harmonic is. Ooh, do we want to go there? Real quick. <laughs> Every time you hear a note on your guitar, you're actually hearing more than one note. What you perceive as a note is called the fundamental. But what makes it sound interesting, what makes your open G sound different than your shorter G, are overtones. And when you play a harmonic on the guitar, you are isolated. It's pretty cool. When you play an artificial harmonic, or a ping, or a squeal, or a pinch harmonic, mm -hmm. you're creating a harmonic where actually one does not naturally occur on the guitar. Right. It's pretty cool. Yes, it is. So, um, definitely experiment with all these different spots on the string, and you will find, for the same fretted note, yes. you'll have many different sounds and many different pitches you can hit. It's and cool. don't get frustrated, okay? Yeah. It took all Well, you're going to get frustrated. Just try true. not to break anything. Yeah, true. True. <laughs> <laughs> and try all different ways. Uh, use it in your lead playing. Yeah. Some people like to drop the lead. And then... You know, this guy comes to my house, he picks up my Martin guitar, the first thing he does is he drops it down to D. And he plays classical pieces on it. You're so confusing sometimes. Not dro well, dropping D is not just for metal playing. I, you know, you've shown me that. Well, I'm I, glad I could be of service. You're, you're a good friend and you've enlightened my world. My world's a little bit of a brighter place, which I'm going in it. Well, I like to, I like to, I'm a giver. I like to give. Yeah, you certainly do. You're giving me a hard time right now. Mm -hmm. So, um, really, with, with, with the pinch harmonics, the artificial harmonics, it's really, it's right hand intensive. Get a good pick, something that's pretty stiff, choke up on it. Mm -hmm. You want to hit the string the way you normally would with your right hand, and then follow up just with the side of your thumb right next to the pick. So the closer you could pick up, the closer you can get your thumb to the pick, the better you're going to be able to get that sound happening. I will say one thing about the left hand. Mm -hmm. um, 
when you apply vibrato to a note that you've, uh, you know, that you're hitting as a pinch harmonic, that vibrato, the string rubbing against the fret, does create a pretty cool sound. It does keep the note active. If you've ever played through a Marshall stack and yeah. you just like kind of hit a note and you just shake that it finger back and forth, better. and it just rings out forever. It's sort of the same principle yeah. there. You're, you're you're keeping like the metal on metal happening. So right. there is a reason why. <laughs> We you always give it a vibrato Give it a little shake. But you can just bend them. Sure. You know? The possibilities are endless, but in the beginning, you first have to go... Don't. 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 Hey! I know. Hey, check out Billy Gibbons from ZZ's Top. Check out, uh, out Daryl from Pantera, rest mm -hmm. in peace. Check out um, Zach Wilde. Yeah. Um, I mean, everyone does this. It's such a yep. fun trick on guitar, and yep. it's really, really cool. And we just want to encourage you to just keep at it. You got anything else you want to say about the pinch harmonic? Don't get frustrated too much, Don't and just anything. practice it, and you'll eventually get it, and you'll be able to uh, do Impress it anytime you want. Yeah, it's pretty sweet stuff. Hey, uh, this is Guitar on your TV, please. Uh, click the subscribe button. We're going to be doing weekly episodes, mm -hmm. and um, we'd love to have you join us. You can leave questions for us in the comments section of our videos. Check us out at YouTube, and check us out at Patreon. If mm -hmm. you're a patron, thank you very much for your support. And really, we're, we're looking to the community. We're looking for the online guitar community. Come to us with subjects. Come to us with things that you would like to have two guitar teachers, each with over 20 years of experience, to kind mm -hmm. of like, you know, kind of put their heads together and see mm -hmm. what they can do to explain this to you from lots of different angles. Right. There's lots of videos on the internet showing you how to do lots of things. But we really want to try and make this something that breaks down these concepts right. yeah, a little bit different. Not just teach the technique, but discuss it a little and yeah. also see how two different players, yeah. teachers, I, approach it. I learned a lot from you today, and I learned a lot and from you most every too. lesson. Me too. You know, so from you. keep it up, please. I and appreciate I thank this. You. All right, I'm going to shake your hand. Okay. This time it's a handshake. This time it's a handshake. It's a hearty handshake. A <laughs> laurel and hearty, hearty handshake. handshake. <laughs> <laughs> Hit it, John. All right, thanks for joining us today, ladies and gentlemen. Guitar Slinger TV. Join us.